Uh, I would like to speak to the motion regarding eligibility for appointment to city committees and we'll start with my own story. I moved to Kingston from the Czech Republic five, five years ago to join my German husband who studied at uh, Queen's, a PhD program. Uh, I myself have two degrees in law from a Czech and an English university. I have worked in human rights as a government official and as a member of an international NGO based in Europe. While I was looking for a job in Kingston, it occurred to me to serve on a city committee. Uh, here was an opportunity to share my expertise, to volunteer, meet people and network. In short, I wanted to get involved in my community, my new home. It was at uh, an annual city committee recruitment event at Memorial Hall, where I learned that I'm not eligible to serve on any of the committees because I'm not a Canadian citizen. At the end of the meeting, I asked what the reason was for the eligibility condition. And do you know what the answer was? Silence. Nobody had the answer. Around the world, cities are on the front lines of immigrant integration because they understand that the lived experiences of settlement is intensely local. A growing number of Canadian cities are realizing that immigration is not exclusive to the federal and provincial jurisdictions, but that success or failure of immigrant integration has a significant impact at the municipal level. It is essential for our local democratic processes to be inclusive of the diversity of our community. As Canada's demographics change and we rely more on immigration to grow the labor force and population, we must open spaces for immigrant voices to help inform municipal committees and decision making. The website of the city of Kingston says, the city encourages and enjoys committee participation by interested and informed citizens. Imagine how much more beneficial it would be if the city encouraged participation by other residents of Kingston who are not less interested or informed just because they are not Canadian citizens. By engaging immigrants, the city could utilize their expertise and learn about different and innovative ways in which other communities are changing their local infrastructure systems and community health. The benefits for immigrants to serve on municipal committees are obvious. For many newcomers entering the Canadian job market, being able to network with people in their field of interest, occupation or study is critical to finding employment and it also deepens their social integration. Uh, the motion that is in front of you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, proposes to amend the bylaw to include permanent residents who have resided in Kingston for at least one year as eligible for appointment to city committees. A permanent resident is someone who has been given permanent resident status by immigrating to Canada, but is not a Canadian citizen. To maintain their status, permanent residents must live in Canada for at least two years in a five-year period. Permanent residents have the right to get most social benefits that Canadian citizens receive. They can live, work or study anywhere in Canada and they uh, have the right to apply for Canadian citizenship. They are not allowed to vote or run for a political office and to hold some jobs that need a high level security clearance. Lastly, I would like to make a reference to two important local strategic documents that speak to advancing greater inclusion of newcomers. Both the Sustainable Kingston Plan and the Kingston Immigration Strategy were developed in 2010 with the participation of um, representatives from the city of Kingston and many other stakeholders. As you can see, on the screen, these documents identify a number of goals and actions that promote this idea. Mr. Mayor, councillors, tonight you have the opportunity to change the bylaw. Leadership is about change. It is not about preserving the status quo when that works against the best interests of the city. Leadership is about seizing new opportunities to allow our community and its residents to thrive. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Um, if you just, um, just before you go, are there any questions for the delegation? Okay, seeing none, thanks very much. Our next delegation is Sabah Al-Jalam and Farah Kopi.
who will appear before council to speak to motion four with respect to the city of Kingston, encouraging the province of Ontario to expand the rights of permanent residents to vote in Ontario municipal elections. Good evening, fellow residents, mayor, city councillors, and staff. My name is Saba Al Jalam. My other home is Syria, where tens of thousands continue to suffer from war. Kingston has been my home since 2011. I am an internationally trained math teacher. Immigrants are the lifeblood of Canada labor force. Today, the Canadian economy is 80% reliant on immigrants for net labor force growth. In a very short time, we will not only be the sole source of labor force growth, but also population growth. This is the reality for many countries in the Western world due to aging population and declining birth rates. Kingston welcomes nearly 800 permanent immigrants each year. We may be small in number today, but the crowd is growing. We come from all parts of the world. We pay city taxes, benefit from and contribute to city services, shop locally, own successful businesses, and invite our global networks to visit our new home and community. Many countries and local governments are recognizing that fairness, social inclusion benefits, and government accountability are just a few of the reasons to extend the municipal vote to permanent residents. Your fact sheet lists the 40 countries that have done this. Kingston would also join with the cities of Toronto, of Toronto, Kitchener, North Bay, Guelph, Halifax, and St. John, all of which are advocating for a provincial governments to expand the municipal, to expand the rights of permanent residents to vote in municipal elections. Thank you for your time. I hope you will help us to gain our political voice here in Kingston. Thank you. Bonsoir tout le monde. My name is Farah Kopé and I'm from Haiti. I am a trained teacher and I have an international cooperation degree. Before I move in Canada, I work in my country as a teacher a language consultant, and I work for Save the Children, a well-known ONG, for over five years. I've been living in Canada for six years, and before Kingston, I was in Montreal, where I volunteered for UNICEF, Oxfam Quebec, and Paul Géry Lajoie. And I was not working at that time, but I actively, actively contributing in my community. In Kingston now, I serve on the board of St. Lawrence Youth Association, the afro Carib Association, and now I'm a member of the Black History Month Committee. And on Sunday, we have a big opening for the Black History Month, and we have the broadcaster of CBC, Adrian Howard, here to open the ceremony. Unfortunately, until recently, I wasn't able to vote. I wasn't able to vote for the municipal election. I could not put my ex near one of your names here, though I would like to do it, but I couldn't. But recently, I became a citizen like you, so I will be able to vote for the next election, and I will be able, able to vote for some of you. I understand the profound importance that comes with belonging, truly belonging to a community. Being part of a community is more than just collecting my taxes. It is also being hearing my concern, my point of view, and valuing my international experience. 
So I urge you tonight to support the resolution to expand voting rights for our permanent resident. We are here to stay, and we have a great deal to offer to our new home. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are there any questions for the delegation? Thank you.